The Distro Dilemma, a sea of choices. Have you ever heard of Linux? It's an operating system, like Windows or MacOS. But there's a catch. Unlike Windows or MacOS, Linux isn't just one thing. There are hundreds of different Linux versions, called distros. Each distro has its own unique features, strengths, and weaknesses. It's like walking into a supermarket with hundreds of different cereals all claiming to be the best. This abundance of choice can be overwhelming, especially for newcomers. Imagine trying to pick your first Linux distro. You're bombarded with names like Ubuntu, Fedora, Debian, Arch, Manjaro. The list goes on. Each has its own strengths, weaknesses, and passionate communities. Some are user-friendly like Ubuntu, which is great for beginners. Others like Arch are more complex and cater to advanced users who want to customize every aspect of their system. So why are there so many Linux distros? Why can't there just be one Linux to rule them all? To understand this, we need to delve into the heart of what makes Linux so unique, its open source nature. This means anyone can take the Linux code, modify it, and create their own version. This freedom has led to a vibrant ecosystem of distros, each tailored to different needs and preferences. It's a testament to the power of collaboration and innovation. So, while the sea of choices might seem daunting at first, it's also what makes Linux so powerful and versatile. Embrace the diversity and you'll find a distro that's just right for you. Linux, a brief history of open collaboration. The story of Linux is a fascinating journey into the world of open collaboration and shared innovation. Linux wasn't built in a corporate boardroom. It didn't emerge from the confines of a traditional business environment. It wasn't designed by a single company with a profit motive. Instead, it was a product of passion and a desire to create something different. Linux was born from the mind of a Finnish student named Linus Torvalds back in 1991. Linus was just a young computer science student with a big idea. He wanted to create a free and open operating system kernel, the core of an OS. This kernel would be the foundation upon which others could build. The beauty of open source is that anyone can take the source code, modify it, and distribute their own version. This openness invites creativity and collaboration. This sparked a wave of innovation. People from all walks of life with different skills and perspectives began contributing. Developers around the world started building upon Linus's kernel, adding their own tools, desktops and philosophies. This global effort transformed Linux into a versatile and powerful system. This collaborative spirit is ingrained in the Linux community. It's a community that thrives on sharing knowledge and working together. It's about sharing, improving and making technology accessible to everyone. The goal is to create something that benefits all of humanity. This freedom and flexibility are why we have so many distros today. Each distribution offers something unique, catering to different needs and preferences. The kernel and the distro, understanding the difference. Now let's clear up some confusion. You'll often hear the terms Linux and Linux distro used interchangeably, but there's a subtle difference. Think of it like this. The Linux kernel is like the engine of a car. It's the core that makes everything run. A Linux distro is the entire car. The engine, body, wheels, seats, everything. Distros take the Linux kernel and package it with other software to create a complete operating system. This includes things like desktop environments, GNOME, KDE, XFCE, system utilities, and applications like web browsers and office suites. Section 4. A distro for every need navigating the landscape. With hundreds of distros out there, how do you choose the right one? The sheer number of options can be both exciting and daunting. Each distribution, or distro, has its own unique features, strengths, and community support. Well, that's the beauty of it. There's a distro for everyone tailored to specific needs and preferences. Whether you're a beginner, a developer, a gamer, or a system administrator, there's something out there for you. New to Linux? Start with Ubuntu or Linux Mint. These distros are designed with user-friendliness in mind, making them perfect for those just starting their Linux journey. They're user-friendly and great for beginners. With extensive documentation and large communities, you'll find plenty of support and resources to help you along the way. Need a powerful server? CentOS, Debian, and Ubuntu server are rock-solid choices. These distros are known for their stability, security, and performance, making them ideal for enterprise environments. Security, your top priority? Kali Linux is the go-to for ethical hacking and penetration testing. Packed with a wide array of security tools, it's the preferred choice for cybersecurity professionals. Running on older hardware? Lightweight distros like Lubuntu and Puppy Linux can breathe life into your old machine. 
These distros are optimized to run on minimal resources ensuring smooth performance even on dated systems. Want ultimate control and customization? Arch Linux and Gen2 let you build your system from the ground up. These distros are perfect for advanced users who want to tailor every aspect of their operating system. This incredible diversity might seem overwhelming at first but it's a testament to the power of open source. The Linux community thrives on collaboration and innovation, constantly pushing the boundaries of what's possible. No matter your technical skill or intended use, there's a Linux distro out there that's perfect for you. Embrace the freedom to choose and explore the vast landscape of Linux distributions. Your ideal operating system is just a download away. Section 5. Embracing the variety. Finding your perfect fit. Instead of viewing the sheer number of distros as a problem, let's embrace it as a strength. This vast ecosystem allows you to find the perfect fit for your needs, workflow, and even your personality. Don't be afraid to experiment. Try out a few different distros, see what desktop environment you prefer. Explore the communities and find where you feel at home. So, what's your favorite Linux distro, and why? Share your thoughts in the comments below, we'd love to hear from you. And be sure to subscribe for more videos exploring the exciting world of Linux.